Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my closet. <laughs> I'm doing a very different video today. Um, I'm cleaning out my closet. I've actually been cleaning my whole house. And um, I realized that um, I could share some stuff about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it um, that might contribute to some people. Um, I actually, I, I did a podcast about this uh, a few last week, I guess it was, about tending the biome and, and really like caring for and tending to your whole life, the whole, the ecosystem of your whole life and living. And when you do, um, everything grows. And I really got, I've had this sense for a long time that I really needed to go through my house and do a massive clean out. And I actually, and this is probably going to sound crazy to some of you, but I actually was like, I want to go through every single item in my home and choose it. I'm wearing gloves, by the way. <laughs> my hands got very dry from all the washing and cleaning and wiping and shuffling. And so I put here's another pragmatic tip. I put, um, really, really, really like thick lotion on and I put gloves on and I'm just cleaning with gloves. So it was get better than that. Um, but I, I really, it was like my business was actually asking for me to spring clean in a huge way. And this is something I do from time to time. Um, usually I used to do it maybe kind of twice a year and I haven't done it in years. Um, and so part of it was that I didn't have anybody to help me. I usually have, you know, when I want to do a big clean out, I'll hire somebody to come and help me. And I didn't really have anybody. And um, so I kind of just put it off, put it off. And it was like, I was starting to feel, my body was starting to feel kind of like, like just kind of like depressed in a way, not, not like emotional depression, but just this sort of like very, um, unmotivated energy. And, um, and, um, was, you know, this is also coming out. I mean, it is actually spring right now. It's April as I make this video. So this was coming out of winter as well. Um, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't have to do, doesn't necessarily have to do with the time of the year. Um, but my body was like my whole world just kind of felt, I just started to feel like if I don't deal with my house and the clutter, which for a lot of people wouldn't even be considered clutter, but I really like things very clean and clear. Um, if I don't deal with this, things are going to just kind of go downhill in all aspects of my life. And so I, I, I was like, okay. So I, what I did was I, I hired someone, I found someone to help me. I hired her. I basically, in arranging a time for her to come, I basically made an appointment with myself um, and my house to do, to dive in. No matter how unmotivated I was, it was like, well, when she shows up, I'm going to have to start. And I knew, because I know how I work, and I knew that if I started, I would go. Like it would get things moving. Um, creation begets creation. Movement begets movement. Um, it's kind of that, you know, inertia idea. It's like, if you're still, you're still, you'll, you'll continue to be still. If you're in movement, if you're in motion, you'll, you know, it will perpetuate itself. There's momentum there. So I knew I needed to like kickstart that. And, um, and so she came and literally she walked in the door and I was like, I do not want to do this. I really do not want to do this. Um, but it was cool because I was like, okay, but I'm here. I've chosen this and I can avoid it or I can just do it. So I did. I just jumped in. And as soon as we got stuff moving and, you know, one room and then the next room and then the next room, it was like, oh, let's do this to the whole house, everything, 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 everything. So it's been really incredible. And I recognize it as I've, I've taken a lot of time recently to do this, but I also recognize it as a huge contribution to my business and to everything, my body, to everything. Like I just, there's such a sense of relaxation. So here's the actual tool that I wanted to give you. Um, that was all the lead up. Um, but one of the things that I'm doing as I go through my, so here I am in my closet. So this is my clothing closet, you know, um, 
But one of the things that I'm doing is I'm actually really looking at the energy and I'm doing this with everything in my house, but it's such a cool example with clothes because, you know, we have, cl like, I know for me, I have clothes that I'm like, I've loved that for a long time. Um, it used to be my favorite, you know, or, um, I just bought that last year or, um, I spent a lot of money on that and I never wore it. You know, there's all those things where you're like, this things you buy and they still have the price tags on them three years later and you can't, you can't get rid of them because you've never worn them or whatever. And so I actually was like, uh, what I, what I do when I clean out my closet is I, I get very clear and I've been doing this in the whole house, really clear on the energy of my future. What is the energy of my future? What am I asking for? Where am I going? What am I creating? And, um, if you need help with that, you know, there's other videos <laughs> and other podcasts and stuff like that, that you can listen to. Um, cause that's a whole other conversation, but it's like clarity on the energy of the future. Like what are the energies I'm inviting into my life? Um, I'm about to go to the Castello di Casa Borgone in Italy, um, which is, um, a, one of the most exquisite places on the planet. Um, a castle that was created by Gary Douglas and Dane here, the creators of access consciousness. And, um, and it's such an incredible space of deep silence and peace and stillness and beauty and elegance and luxury. And it changes my life every time I go. And I'm, I'm, there's a sense for me of like castle, like really castle, castle energy. And so, you know, my house is not an actual castle and yet I'm making it like that. It's like really, you know, castle-ifying my house. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm calling it. Um, and so that there's that, those energies that come along with that, you know, like I would love to live in a, a space that feels to me like a castle. Okay, cool. So I don't own an actual castle. Um, I do own a house. Um, and it's like, let's make this house my castle. And, 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 you know, I'm asking for greater and more and all of that. And it's like, someday, what would it take to have a castle? That would be super fun. Um, so, so as I go through everything, I'm like, does this match that energy? Does this match the future? Does this match that castle energy? And there's a lot of other things too, other energies for me in my life and in my business and all that. And it's like, does this item of clothing, does this dress, does this shirt, does the, do these shoes match that? If it's something I've never worn or something I've worn once or it costs a lot of money or it's a really nice name brand or whatever, it's like, that doesn't matter. That's all judgment. That's all like holding on to things. It's like, it does this match the energy of my future? Yes, no. Now here's the key. Yes, no. You will get a yes or a no very quickly. And what if you just went with it? So I have this whole pile of clothes here um, that it's like, nope, 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 nope. I mean, one of them is like a really nice dress from, I can't even remember the brand, but some very, you know, fancy brand. I've worn it a few times. Um, and I'm like, it doesn't match. So off it goes to go contribute to somebody else. Cause the clothing is also like, I'd like to go somewhere else, please. You know, so great. It can go and how, you know, somebody else can wear it and really enjoy it like way more than having it hang in my closet and be dead weight of my life. So that's my, that's my video for today. Um, if you're inspired and you can do this in any area of your life, it doesn't even have to be your physical space, but it's like, do the things that you're choosing match the future that you're creating. And if they don't let them go it, relationships. I mean, what if you could let go of relationships that easily? Um, that's one, you know, one thing we hold on to dynamically people, you know, um, just let it go let it go and trust that you know what you're doing. You trust that you know the future that you're creating. And if you continually choose it, it will show up. It will show up. And I know that at the end of this and like even in the process of this, it's like everything in my life is growing. My future is, it's like I keep acknowledging it. I keep acknowledging the energy energies of my future as I'm going through this process. And it's just like, yeah, I know where I'm going. Let's go. Let's clear the path. 
and make it really easy and elegant to move in that direction.